like if you're stuck, uh, turn into your more uh, senior, senior engineers. I don't, I don't mean like the old people, I just mean the senior engineers. What's up coders, my name is Grady Alec and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to react to a video called Software Engineer Expectation versus Reality by Meredith Mal. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna hit the like button for her video and a subscribe to her channel. You should do the same to my channel and my video. So make sure you hit the like button and without further ado, let's get started. One week later. Honestly, sometimes when you do the code reviews, it really feels like people are just not nitpicking on things. But really the goal, everyone has the same goal and everyone wants to create this maintainable code that would be easy to read and uh, good for future use. So if anything, I think the fact that the co your coworkers are putting in the effort to write those comments and do that, um, that's actually really beneficial for you and your, your personal growth as a software engineer. So don't take it as they hate me, they hate my code or everything, they want you to grow. If they wouldn't care, then they wouldn't even write any comments. So I think they care. <laughs> Done for the day. I don't know about nine to five. I guess if you don't do a lunch, then obviously I usually go from eight to five and I do sometimes don't do a lunch. So I, I try to um, not put in like crazy hours unless there's a really, really uh, important deadline that we need to meet. I'm not just gonna get myself burnt out for no reason. You're definitely gonna face 12 hour work days if you're getting into software engineering. And that's, that's not the case every day. You're most likely, you're gonna face those crazy hours if there's a deadline that you need to meet. And if that's consistent all the time in your company, I don't think you should be working there. Honestly, like why, why should you be putting in 12 hours all the time just because they're doing poor management on their project? Six and a half hours later. Oh, I have so many problems with my back and neck and like constantly hurting. So hence why I've tried, I, I recently just started trying to uh, use my standing desk a, lo a little bit more to stand and I got a balance board. So that has helped a little bit, but it's still like crazy. Like after so many hours of sitting, it just, it's just too much. Yeah, honestly, if, if something takes like 20 minutes to like run or so, I don't think you should be just like doing nothing. Like I, I think that that time can be used like as a valuable time to do work on another task in your list. Deployment, creating a pipeline, writing the get add and put add APIs. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to accomplish any of these things because I got stuck. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna be behind schedule. Project management in your company should know that. So you don't have to do those crazy 12 hour days all the time. They know that stuff happens in software engineering. There's debugging takes time. That's, that's, a, that's a reality. People in management should know in your company. If they don't, they're, they're doing something wrong, in my opinion. Uh, so many errors. Oh. Okay, I need to ask my group. Maybe in my team, they can actually help unblock me. Yeah, so yesterday I was having a lot of problems, but Chris was actually able to help me and we were able to figure out my issue together. So I am pretty much able to move forward and I can proceed with the other tasks that I need to do. So I'm gonna send out a code review today. A lot of people are afraid to ask questions. I think that uh, that should be one of the first things you do. Like if, if you're stuck, uh, turn into your more uh, senior, senior engineers. I don't, I don't mean like, the old people, I just mean the senior engineers. Turn to them and ask questions so you can keep moving forward and you're not stuck in this one thing, thing that could take them like 30 seconds to figure out and just say like, oh yeah, you gotta put a uh, or statement there or whatever it might be, or you gotta commit first or anything like that. 
just ask questions so you're not wasting your precious time. And uh, so you don't have to say in the team meetings that you did zero work because you got stuck like she did earlier. A new feature which allows you to put a filter on your face. Yeah, so basically I created that and um, I was part of this whole development process. Oh, I'm basically working on improving a current existing tool and that internal tool helps another internal tool which helps other engineers um, and it just helps to improve their productivity by... She, she has such a good point here. A lot of the actual software engineering, it's, it's very common that you might just end, end up working on a internal tool and you might not be doing anything that's customer facing. So you might be working on some internal tool updates to help everyone else's uh, lives to be more productive at their workplace. I personally work directly with the product that we, uh, we have and the product development and the software architecture on that product. So I think that's, uh, I, I get to do some soft, uh, actual customer facing stuff, but uh, it's still in research and development phase, so I, I, I don't get to do it. So. so that is all I have for you guys for today's video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Hit that like button for this video, and thank you so much, guys, for checking out this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment as well, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Other than that, keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time.